So I don't know what you guys think, but 2020 has been a crazy year. You know, if you're a gamer, this is the time to invest into gaming. Whether you're doing consoles with PS5 or Xbox Series X, or if you're building a desktop, Intel's been crushed. AMD has released the fastest consumer grade CPUs you can buy. And you have these amazing GPUs to power your systems. But now we also have AMD's RX 6000 series using their big Navi. Now, before I unbox these and tell you all about it, we got to do a quick message from our sponsor. So I do a ton of reviews and unboxings like today's GPU video, which means I'm constantly signing up for services. That's a lot of companies who now have my information. Just imagine how many things you've signed up for over the past few years. I bet you can't even remember them all. Wouldn't it be cool to find out who has your information? Because let's face it, some of these companies are pretty careless with your data. Well, today's sponsor mine has this really amazing tool that lets you discover and control what the internet knows about you. By simply signing up with your Google, Microsoft, or Yahoo account, you can see how many companies hold your data. I mean, look at this. Some of these services I haven't even heard of. To delete a company, simply press reclaim and mine will automatically send an email to the company from your inbox. This is a great way to reduce my data from being exposed. Go check out saymine.com today. It's free for the coming months. A link will be in the description down below. So I think we should start with the RX 6800. It's the smaller guy, it's priced lower, but yet it packs so much performance. AMD says this is supposed to be on par, if not better than last year's RTX 2080 Ti from Nvidia. But if you've looked at benchmarks that have leaked online or even from AMD's website, you can see that it beats out the RTX 3070 in some instances. Now you do get a picture of the card when you open up the box. And there's one thing to note about these words, 16, gigabytes of memory. This is a big deal. Not so much in gaming right now. We don't have a lot of games that can take advantage of all 16, but very important in the creative space. Inside the box, you have a little note telling you to visit their website for more information. And finally, the GPU itself. Now, before I talk more about this, let's unbox the RX 6800 XT first. Opening it up is a bit different. Instead of pulling it out from the side, you have a flap instead. You get a nice message over here. Welcome to the red team. You've joined a select community with upcoming passion for premium gaming. That shared desire is at the heart of everything we do. It's why we've engineered the fastest AMD Radeon RX graphics card ever to deliver a powerful gaming experience. Have fun. Now, same sort of concept. 16 gigabytes of VRAM, picture of the GPU, and then of course the 6800 XT inside. Now the designs are exactly the same, but the difference being the size, you know? Its length is identical, so it's not gonna take up uh, too much space in your case. Wow, that rhymed. But the thickness is different. Obviously this is a more powerful card, it needs bigger heat sink, so it's going to be thicker. To give you guys some comparisons to other GPUs, I have the RTX 3080 over here. This is a longer card, at least compared to both of these guys. But the big difference is that the Radeon card is thicker. And just to give you another example is the RTX 2080 Ti. This card is about the same size in terms of length, but it's also thinner than the RT or RX 6800 XT, but about the same thickness as the 6800. Now there's a couple of things to note that these cards are not using the same sort of heat dissipation system as the RTX lineup. They're using the more traditional push-pull system where the air comes in, then it gets pushed out. They do have silent modes, like silent operation modes, in case you're not taxing your system, you can allow the GPU to stay quiet. The PCB on both of these cards travels the entire back of the card. Whereas on the RTX 3080, the PCB kind of stops three quarters in the way. Not a big deal, it's just different design approach. I'll be honest with you, I do think the RTX 3080 from a visual standpoint looks significantly better. Like this is new, this is clean, it looks modern, it looks like something different. The RX series cards just look more like your traditional GPU. Now this red stripe is painted on, it's not a light. The only light on the card is the Radeon logo, which lights up when the card is plugged in. Speaking of plugs, you do have two eight pin connectors. These are standard 
nothing fancy like you would have with the RTX 3080 that needs a special cable to connect to it. The back of the card has the Radeon logo and you have your four ports, USB Type-C, two display ports, and this is a HDMI port, which is 2.1. You can hook up a 4K 120 Hertz display to the HDMI 2.1 port, or even an 8K 60 Hertz display, if that's something you wanna visit in the future. So that is a first look at AMD's RX 6800 series. I'll have a full review of this coming out in a couple of days. If you have any things you want me to test in that full review, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try to squeeze it in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because if you did, I'd love you if you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.